So what do you think about Justin Bieber? You know, Justin Bieber, uh, uh, talent comes out, identified, found on YouTube, becomes a rock star, apparently starts dating your daughter. I think they just had a six year anniversary you or show something. Them the video of me introducing my daughter. Do you ever see that? Which one is this? So Google Stephen Baldwin introducing Haley to Justin. You ever see this? No, no, I have not. You want to see why I, this kid married my daughter? It's because I let him. To our lobby. Seriously, I, I have no idea what I'm about to see here. Watch. Yeah, no, this is cute. Nearly 10 years ago. But first, an update on Justin Bieber and Haley Baldwin. The couple, if you don't know, they are engaged. Bieber confirmed the news on Instagram, writing, My heart is completely and fully yours, and I will always put you first. You are the love of my life, Haley Baldwin, and I wouldn't want to spend it with anybody else. There's what he wrote in part. And why am I here in the lobby right now? I'm here because this is the exact spot where Justin and Haley met for the very first time. Here's the video to prove it. My name is Steve and the third song, Hi, bro. Hey, get to my daughter Haley. The third song, yeah. We've been, uh, we've been enjoying their music. <laughs> There's oh, Stephen wow. Haley's father there. That introduction. Ooh, look at the classic Bieber shake of the hair. That means I look like you. Like, like, yeah, whatever. Like, Again, like, this is like, yeah, you years ago. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> wow. So I took my daughter long, to go how see. How long was this before they dated? Oh, four years, right. five years. Right. Yeah. So what happened was they met there. Okay. I met Scooter Braun there. He was the manager who mm -hmm. orchestrated mm -hmm. all of his early success. And this, the long story short about Justin and Haley is pretty simple. So Haley's father and uncles are the Baldwin brothers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So long before Justin Bieber ever played his guitar anywhere, she had experience with Hollywood celebrity. My daughter had been to red carpets had, before Justin ever had a career when she was a kid. So years later, she starts hanging out with some other friends of her, uh, Kylie Jenner, uh, uh, the Jenner gals, you know, some other younger people. She starts hanging out with Jaden Smith. You know, this is when she's 14, 15, you know. Is it because you're living there, so they're all within the community, or just, you know, you're no, Hollywood? Just, this is a, yeah, I got the, you. The I got young you. Hollywood yeah. vibe. So sure enough, years later, after that introduction and after spending time together, Justin's career continues. My daughter becomes a model, starts, you know, has her friends, shows up at the After Earth premiere, Will Smith, Jaden Smith, New York City at the Trump W downtown. Is that what it's called? Trump W? What are the chances of that? So my daughter says, uh, Jaden Smith is in the movie and he's dating Kylie and Kylie's my friend. And we're all going to stay at the hotel, at the hotel with, with Will and everybody and all the parents are there and it's totally safe and it won't be sketchy. And can I stay overnight with Kylie? I go, yeah, babe, sure, go ahead. Well, apparently Justin showed up to that hotel and came in and said hi to some friends. Like he, he knew Kylie, but he didn't know Haley. So he hadn't seen Haley in quite a, a while and she'd grown up a little. Long story short is when they reconnected in that scenario, it's when Justin had been dating different people and had never really experienced somebody like Haley. I can't tell you this whole story, but I'll give you an example. Somebody that knows Justin before my daughter met him said to my wife in a conversation, your daughter's the only girl that dated Justin and in the beginning never accepted a gift. She's the only one. So this now, if you're Justin and you date a bunch of gals and you're Justin and you go, hey, here's a gift and you go, oh my gosh, just, let's go get dinner and let's go swimming and let's go to the movies. My daughter went, I'm all right. That's not why I'm here. I'm here to know you. I don't want gifts. I want to know you. Good for her. So that's the girl he fell in love with. Wow. The girl who was raised a certain way to mm. say, it's not about how big my ring is. It's about whether or not I can bless you and you can bless me. And together we can have happiness and joy and blah, blah, blah. So underneath all this Hollywood crazy celebrity nonsense is that hope authentically. So the only reason Haley Bieber is Haley Bieber is because she stayed true to herself. Good for her. About what her hope was in a husband. And now 
it's really inspiring millions of others, et cetera, et cetera. That's respect. And by the way, she's, she's how many followers? She's got a hundred million followers. She's got 53 million, million 53, followers on Instagram like alone, not including. Right. And by the way, did, did they just help you become a grandfather? Is, is that correct? That that just happened? <laughs> just Baby Jack few. Blues. I love the name. Yeah, just a few. Jack weeks. Blues Bieber. I like the name. I like the name. What, what, what is he like with you? What's your relationship with him? Justin? Yeah. Well, you're asking me too many questions now, Mr. David. Right? Just because I just opened this can of doesn't mean I can give, give me one thing. Of, thing give me one thing with you and him, father-in-law. You know well, how is so, that? So listen, before I tell you a story I never told, <laughs> I shouldn't tell this. So before they were married, my wife and I are serious Christians. So we had to sit down with this guy. By, by the way, the audience needs to know this. You guys been together for 34 years since 1990. 38 this. years. Yeah, married in '90. Right. Together Mary four years before that. Oh, okay. so we're got get it, got to it. Respect, yeah. Next year, uh, June 10th of next year is 35 years married Good to for you. the most beautiful girl in the whole wide world. So I get this phone call. Uh, it's my wife. Uh, she goes, uh, I think the kids want to get together. So remember, my daughter married Justin at a courthouse first, and then a year later had the big official mm -hmm, wedding. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So... They do the courthouse move, which I go, praise God. I think they're supposed to be together. And then we're going to do the bigger wedding. And before the bigger wedding, my wife and I spent, I want to give you all the details, but we spent about three weeks isolated with the kids. There was like a month period before the wedding that my wife and I were like, do you understand what a wedding is? It's a holy oath unto the creator of all things who can squish you like that. So be careful that you understand the words you're going to say, because they have life. So we did that and they went, Nam yo renge kyo. you know, they listened for his best kids who want to marry each other <laughs> can listen. But then he asked me to marry her, right? There was the official, my wife calls me, oh, Justin wants to talk to you. What about, I think, you know, so, so, I, think he's, you know, I think he wants to do the official sit down and, you know, Ask the father. Great. Yeah, tell him to come over. He comes over. We, we were talking. And he goes just like this. It's the, it's the cutest thing ever. So we're talking and he's going, you know, like, hey, so this is what I'm thinking. And, you know, what do you think? And, you know, is it, you know, how's it sounding? And does it sound good? And I said, no, it sounds great. And uh, uh, I said, so let me just give you my answer. My answer is yes. You can marry my daughter. I said, I just want to be sure you're clear about some thoughts. And once this happens... I love you, kid. You're on your own. You know, the Bible says once you have spiritually yoked to my daughter, I'm out. I have no authority anymore. I'm not her friend. I'm her dad. And I'm always going to be her dad, no matter who she is, what she makes, whatever. And I said something and, and all of a sudden he responded, but his answer was like one of my answers. He said something to me that like, I went, God, that sounded like me. And I laughed and he goes, what's so funny? I go, no, you just said something that reminded me of myself. So I, I just giggled. I said, didn't mean anything about it. He goes, what was so funny? Now, this is why I love Justin Bieber, because he's, a, he's an honest, pure, he won't let that go. Even in an awkward situation, he's asking me to marry my daughter. Bless you. Go ahead. So the point is, he goes, I just made you, you need a tissue? No, no, I'm good. Okay. He says to me, what was so funny? <laughs> I, turn so awesome. I turn around and I say to him, uh, you said something that reminded me of myself. He goes, that's interesting because I've had people say to me, I remind them of you. And I go, wow, that's kind of cool. I guess some gals marry their dad kind of, you know, whatever. There's some similarities. You know, you always hear that. And then some don't. My daughter, Elias, husband, Andrew's way smarter and cooler than me. So I turn around and he says, does that scare you? <laughs> what a great question. Great. What a great question. And I go, what do you mean? He goes, does it scare you that I might be a little bit like you? Now he's being cute. And I go just like this. Not at all. 
This is a blessing. This is going to be a blessing. And if you ever screw up, you don't got to worry about me. You ever hurt my daughter, you don't got to worry about me. I got one word for you. If you ever do anything to hurt my daughter, and it's not Jesus, it's Alec. I said, Google Alec Baldwin upset. (laughs) You don't say this to him. Right to his face. I go, I'm making a joke back to him saying, it's me. I'm a legend of one of the Baldwin brothers, and we kick people's ass sometimes back in the day. So don't worry about if you do anything wrong to my daughter, because she's not going to call me. She's going to call and call and go, "Eh, he was mean to me. And you know what he's going to do? He's not going to call his friends. He's going to get in his little Mercedes in East Hampton. He's going to drive all the way to your house in Beverly Hills and then have a little conversation with you like we used to in the old days. Is that really how Alec is? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's my dad was. Let me ask you a question. If if your son, you know, had a bad situation with another kid, you know, a friend, and it was bad, like he threatened him or like choked him, put him up against the wall, said, you know, you do that again, and your son was defenseless against a bigger guy, you're going to call your lawyer? No. Right. You're going to go knock on the kid's door. Yeah, it would be And it bad. doesn't matter who you are. You're going to say to the parents. Now, some people in your position, but oh, I don't like I might get sued. I'm Middle Eastern, bro. We're, <laughs> we're, 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 we have a reputation. It's a different kind of a reputation. Okay. So, so Alec is the Middle Eastern Baldwin brother. He that sounds like it. He sounds like you're from the Middle East. <laughs> you know, maybe he is the Northeast, but. Feel the uh, hair on his chest, right? He, okay. <laughs> We, you know, we got to do one of those 23 and me ancestry stuff on Alec to see if there's, but that's interesting. So then what happened? It's good to go. Relationship so, solid. So no, I tell that story now just because since they've been married, I think they've done an amazing job, you know, at keeping, you know, their own privacy. It's not easy to do, bro. Well, it's the reason it's why you only see a, a, a photo of the I baby's know. foot right now. You know, I know. The good they're for trying them. to enjoy this yeah, time. Yeah, it's not easy for them because, exactly. I mean, Bieber is, there. there is, uh, um, there's levels to this game of fame. Bieber is like, you know. He's the biggest know. pop star of all time. Yeah, I mean, he's. Uh, but, but here's why. In seven years, he outsold the Beatles and Elvis. In seven years, he outsold Beatles and Elvis? Correct. He is a higher selling musician. He has sold more songs worldwide than the Beatles and Elvis. Shit. So where's he right with But he did it in seven years. How about Michael Jackson? What's he, oh, what's he ranking? Is he ahead of Michael Jackson as well? I think he's ahead of, look it up. I could be wrong. I'm not wrong. As I understand it, Justin's sales are higher, the highest in the world. Are you, zoom it in, Rob? Damn, Rob. Michael Jackson's thriller, 120 million copies. Seven years go lower, Rob, to see where... Uh, Elvis Presley, just, right. Michael Jackson, Eagles. When's this from? Let me see if Justin... But this is per album, so let me take it. That's not all of the discography. I think discography. the whole catalog, yeah. blah, 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 blah. Wow. I think of everything he's ever created, Justin Bieber, it has outsold those people. It's, somebody told me that, one of my... Yeah, I see it right here. Anim- Justin Bieber beats Elvis Presley's U.S. chart record. Right. And I don't know which one this is, in but uh, seven years. Yeah, that's that, that is that's, wild. Yeah, that is he is he is he also does he have an element of Tom Cruise where he's chill and humble behind closed doors, like when, when he's with the family? Very okay. He's his, very his, simple, down to earth. His, his his mom Patty's a Christian, right? If yeah. I'm not mistaken. Yeah. yeah. Another very uh, his dad Jeremy. These are very well. Honest. Congratulations yeah. to them. Congratulations to them and. We wish him nothing but yeah, the best. And congrats you. for you I being a grandpa. This is the USA Gear limited edition for the rest of the year. If you love America, sport this USA Gear. On the side, it says Future Looks Bright. On the back, it says Value Team. And on the side, it's got the American flag. We got the shirts. We got the flip flops. These are the only flip flops I wear when I'm at the house and walking the dogs. It feels amazing with the gel in it. So if you love America, if you believe the future looks bright, if you love Value Team, Click on the link above or below. Go wear some of the gear and tag us because we share the pictures on the podcast all the time. So go to vtmerch.com and place your order. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here. 